Hey what's up guys, Sam here. <laughs> I know I haven't been posting for a while, uh, it's just that work has been really crazy towards the end of the year. It's not really an excuse, it's my fault, I should have been a little bit more consistent. Uh, but throughout this whole, you know, lockdown period, we're having a mini lockdown here in Malaysia, it was a little bit hard to go out and take some photos. But as soon as a little bit, or the, the lockdown kind of like lifted a little bit, I decided to go out and take some film. I took Lomo 400 as well as Kodak Portra 400. I was shooting on a Canon AE1 as well as a 50mm 1.4 FD and on my uh, on the Kodak Portra I was shooting on my Canon EOS 1N as well as a 40mm 2.8 So I just wanted to finish up the roll on the AE1 with the Lomo 400 and now that I'm loading it back up, we're going to move to the Canon EOS 1N and the 40mm 2.8. I'm not gonna lie, the photos this round were pretty lackluster, nothing really impressive and not really one of my best. In fact, I'm a lot disappointed with how a lot of these turned out, not necessarily in terms of exposure but just framing, composition and things like that. I think I was just a little bit rusty from not being able to go and shoot uh, this, this entire time. However, I think it's very important to be sharing these kind of videos because I think the one thing that I've been seeing in these POV videos is that everybody just takes really really good photos. And that's really not the reality of the situation. I think out of like probably 10% of the photos that I take are honestly really good. Uh, and I just want to be able to be real with everyone and just show that hey, you know what, I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect, we all make terrible photos uh, sometimes and it's all about the practice, it's all about the grind. More so when you're shooting with film photography, you know, it's just a little bit more difficult because there's no instant feedback that you can get with digital. Uh, but once again, I just think that it's important to see that, you know, the photos that we take are not always going to be like amazing all the time. <laughs>
Just a couple of thoughts as we wrap up this video. I kind of like both film stocks. Lomo 400 is definitely a lot more affordable compared to Kodak Portra 400. But the things that I do notice is that uh, Lomo 400 tends to not handle overexposure really well. Uh, Kodak Portra tends to be a little bit more easier, especially in the edit. Uh, although I didn't really edit much, I was just controlling a couple of highlights and shadows in the pictures. No color changes at all because I wanted to try and keep like the raw tones because this was the whole idea of this video really was just to try and see if I can compare these two film stocks. Uh, in not really a technical situation but in a place where I would normally shoot these photos uh, which one is my favorite personally uh, I don't really have a favorite in this case I think they both have their places Lomo 400 being a much more affordable one it's much more easier to just pick up and throw and not really take the photos seriously but obviously Kodak Portra if I were to choose between the two if no if money was no issue uh, I would take Kodak uh, hands down So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the last photo of the day. Really appreciate all the comments and support that I've been getting even though I haven't been posting. I really appreciate everything moving forward in 2021. I still do want to continue this. I really don't know how it's going to be if I can even remain consistent. But that's something that I definitely do want to try uh, moving forward. So yeah, thank you guys so much once again. And I guess I'll see you on the streets in the next video.